Brittany Palmer, thank you very much. Ready to go here, round one of three in this co-main event. Tony Ferguson back on that UFC canvas for the first time in about a year, taking on Showtime Pettis. Ferguson came home from the hospital after surgery in April, immediately started doing 20-pound curls until he couldn't work out anymore. He is a freak. See Pettis going right after the knees, right away of Ferguson. Right away. Right, right after away. the leg. And it already hurts. You see him limping already. Can't get kicked in the legs. That hurts. And Ferguson returns to him. And you see the scar on the side of his knee. Pettis going right after that yeah, mid leg. Yeah, it seems like Ferguson's limping a little bit on that leg. It looks like it hurts. He just got yeah. kicked in it very hard. Well, you got to realize, when you're talking about six months from a catastrophic knee surgery like that, I mean, completely detached from the bone, massive scar, you got to wonder if it's 100%. It's only been six months? Yeah, April. It's Injury was April 1st. Well, Dom, you're a guy who's come back from multiple surgeries. You know how long it takes. It's very rare that someone can come back from a gigantic knee surgery and be 100% after six months. Well, six months is a ridiculous time frame, I'll be honest. It takes at least nine to get as strong as you need it. So the fact that he's pushing the pace like that is pretty crazy. Nice yeah, stick. Yeah, and I don't like the way he's moving. It looks like it's hurt. They might have rushed it, but we don't know. Yeah. You can't yeah, talk we don't about know. that with Ferguson. Right, well, it could have been the kicks that, that Pettis landed. Because he looks good now. Or it could be that it's hurt. The biggest thing Ferguson said he wanted to do is utilize his jab in this fight. That was going to be the biggest problem for Pettis. And what's cool about it is he switches, and he's got a really good southpaw jab and a really good conventional jab. Oh, yeah, he can absolutely fight from anywhere. The question is, did he give himself enough time to recover from the surgery? And he did no physical therapy. He took his recovery into his own hands, none. I don't know what to say about any of that. I honestly have no words shocked. for that. Don't shoot the messenger. He's crazy. I'm not shocked. Yeah. But, I mean, he's brilliant in that regard. Correct. That's his own way. The Pettis camp felt like they picked up a lot of things on tape of Ferguson being a hittable guy. Tony said, watch all the film you want. I'll pick him apart on the feet. And we have hit the midpoint of round one. Blocked it all, though. Had nothing landed. Well, he spends a lot of time working on a Wing Chun dummy. He does that. Yeah. I mean, he does a lot of really unorthodox stuff in terms of mixed martial arts. Your friend Eddie Bravo talks about him training for six hours straight. I mean, it's absurd. Well, Eddie's trained with a lot of guys. He said he's never seen anyone with the kind of endurance that Tony has. I know you hit that elliptical for two hours the other day. I mean, his pressure is crazy. The pressure that he's putting on Pettis right now is silly. This is exhausting to move the way Pettis has to. And he's guessing, too, because look how Pe look how Ferguson moves his head, switches combinations, switches, always giving you a different look and always pressuring you. And he's not chasing. He's heading off Pettis. Yeah, tremendous pressure. And whatever we thought was going on with his leg earlier might have just been, ooh, and there's another hard leg kick to that leg. But he looks fine. Yeah, nice counter right from Ferguson. And he's using it a lot. Inside leg kick with that leg, he's landed several to Pettis' left leg. Tremendous pressure, though. Look at him. Pettis doing a good job seeing everything. The only thing that worries me is moving back this much is exhausting if you're Pettis. That pressure is just ridiculous. And he's got to clinch him or do something to deal with the pressure. Go to the body of Ferguson, fake a shot, throw uppercut, throw knees, something. Because right now, Pettis, or Ferguson is just on it. All over him. Front kick to the body, inside leg kick again. I mean, he is just smothering Pettis. Pettis just can't get any space. He's basically keeping him in a phone booth by heading him off. And he's slowing down. You're seeing Pettis' punches come slower. Well, the key is of what Ferguson's doing game plan wise is now Pettis doesn't have his trickiness. He can't make reads. He can't have timing because he's moving back the whole time. Blocked. Nice left hand there, stuck by Ferguson. Beautiful uppercut. And look at him, walking him down, talking to him. Beautiful jab there by Ferguson, former two-time All-American wrestler at Grand Valley State University as a wrestler. Again, inside leg kick twice. 
and just does not get tired. It's yeah. one of the craziest things about this guy. And I about, think. Sorry, Joe. Go ahead. Just as mentally tough as it comes, and he draws such strength from that. Couple oh. big right hands from Ferguson. Oh, Pettis shakes him off, but a strong close to round one for El Kukui. What a round. Okay, good run. Here's what I need you to do though, okay? Breathe, get some water in you, okay? Drink. There you go, big mouth. All right, so listen to me. Keep hitting over his kicks, okay? Every time he kicks, he's wide open. Quick punch combo, kick at the end of it. You're doing great. Keep your hands high though, Perry. I like your swagger, I like the mentality. Uh, <laughs> Don't aim so That's high. it, right there. <laughs> That's my. There you go. Don't aim so high every time, you hit me. Don't aim so high every time. Don't aim so high. Alright, you can pose it. Give me a smile, give me a smile. There you go. You took his heart. Put the press hey, on him. Head move. Head movement, the final thing in terms of the messaging from the Ferguson corner. Round two here. So the battle, fight, you ready? Fight, you ready? Fight! Well, the pressure's already exhausting, but then you add the fact that he's pressuring by switching stance, so that takes away your counter reads, too. And then he's kicking your legs when he switches stance. Yeah, he's chewing. Oh, oh he got him! Oh. Hey, he's hurt! And that's one thing about Pettis, oh, he can finish oh, anything. He's on him! He's on him! He's attacking the leg! Oh, Ferguson bleeding bad here, busted open. Beautiful by Pettis. And that's the thing, Pettis wanted a war. He wanted to feel this pain, and so he's he's in it. And now he got what he wanted. He hurt Ferguson, and now he has Ferguson's respect. There's a lot of blood coming from somewhere. Might be his jaw. Yeah, it looks like the mouth of Tony Ferguson. So some definite adversity here for Ferguson. Pettis has got to be very careful of Tony's guard, though. I would like to see him try to just stand up. I'm just glad this is on the ground because I want to see these two gentlemen grapple. Ferguson right after it, immediately staying offensive. Well, there's a tremendous amount of blood coming out of Tony Ferguson's mouth. And you've got to wonder what is going on. I think it's from his head. A lot of it coming is from it Pettis, Pettis too. Head? It's got to be the top of his head. Or is he, I don't know, I can't it tell. It might be from both gentlemen. Yeah, they're both cut to Pettis pieces. Lose, oh, yeah. Pettis is yeah, Pettis losing is a ton of blood here. Elbow from Ferguson. This fight as advertised so far. This is what they wanted, and this is what yeah, we get. Yeah, Jason Herzog's going to check that cup oh, of Anthony no. Pettis. I think it was on the ground that he landed that. I think he threw it in the guard on, and landed it on Anthony in the, in the guard. This can't be that bad that they have to stop this. No, well, right. It's not above the it's eye, so they won't, they won't stop it because it's not above the oh, eye. Oh, it's in the oh, hairline. It's a giant cut yeah. on the right side rag. of his head. I need another rag for his eyes. Please, a rag. How are we doing? He's good. He's fine. Okay, one moment. I need a rag. Herzog now calling for a rag to clear Tony's eyes. Good refing. Good refing by Jason good. Herzog. Jason Herzog, one of the best in the business. This, this is, is a fight. We are the only three gentlemen sitting in the T-Mobile arena right now. Woo! Oh, my goodness. It's getting wild. <laughs> I'm just thankful for this fight right here, right now. <laughs> I mean, how's this as an appetizer for Khabib and Connor? Three minutes to go in this second of a possible three rounds. Ferguson ripping the body there. Ferguson seems to have fully recovered. And he's never even looked tired for a second. Yeah, Just his head got jogged a little. Watch Pettis look for an overhand right. It's there all night. Pettis flat against the cage here. But he's looking like the pressure is just too much again like it was earlier. He landed a beautiful shot in between, and that's what he was saying he needed to do. Find the openings and land. Non-stop output and forward motion from Tony Ferguson. I mean, he puts pressure on you like no one else in the business. Right hand to the body. 
Oh. Right hand. Pettis forced to retreat here under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, left hook. Pettis has taken a lot of big shots here, oh, Joe. Big elbow. I mean, Ferguson oh, is just not. He sliced up the left side of him as well now. See, the thing about Ferguson is he loves the pain. He does. Pettis, I think, cut from that cloth as well. He is masked in blood here. Pettis showing his toughness right now. He's not out of this. He's still throwing heat, and he can still drop Ferguson at any point. We've seen it. Oh, There's that elbow beautiful. Again. Grab beautiful. the hand, slip over the top with an elbow. the right hand that's there all night for him if he can fire it at the right time. Oh, left hand oh lands flush for Pettis. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're literally fighting in a phone booth right now. This is amazing. Thank you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Another elbow from Tony Ferguson under a minute to go in the round. These guys are just exchanging in the corners. Oh, that cut on Anthony Pettis is something else. Nice elbows by Ferguson. He mixes it up so well, and he doesn't stop being offensive. No such thing as breathing room when you're fighting Tony Ferguson. Oh! Those are landing very heavy. Ferguson's hitting him very hard. Pettis needs to get on his bike and start moving. He can't sit here like this. And we just got Incredible showered pressure. with blood He's here in the move. Move. Final seconds of the round. Good Pettis pressure. covers up. Mixed martial arts. Goodness gracious. Unbelievable pressure. Unreal fight so far. Breathe. All right, listen to me, son, okay? Drink. Breathe, Anthony. Big breath. Okay, you're good. You got to look good. up, Anthony. Look up, look up. Look up. Okay. What do you want to do? If you can't go, we got to stop it. What do you want to do? You tell me. That hand's broken? Yeah. What do you want to do? I don't want you going out there if you can't fight the way you need to fight, all right? I, I can't have you fighting him if you didn't got that hand, all right? I, hand's broken. Yeah, that's it. Broke his hand. So that's wow. the fight. Anthony Pettis breaks his right hand. Duke Roof is not going to send his longtime wow. pupil out there. Somewhat anticlimactic, but El Kukui is back in a big way tonight. Wow, that's surprising. You know, we you know, sometimes sit here and bemoan the fact that corners don't save their fighters often enough. I know people are going to take issue with this. Any thoughts, Joe, in the immediate well, aftermath of that decision? No one knows Anthony Pettis better than Duke Rufus. If Duke Rufus thinks it's a good idea to stop the fight, there's no way anyone should disagree with that. He knows what should be done and what shouldn't be done. It's one of his big, biggest weapons. If he broke his hand, and it seemed like he didn't want to continue either, yeah. he didn't want to fight this monster with <laughs> one hand. Right. You know, it's a good move because Tony Ferguson probably would have just beat the snot out of him. And how about the outpouring of emotion from Tony Ferguson? We tried to set it up as best we could, but what the last six months have held for this absolute warrior of a human being to come back and produce the way he did tonight is truly the stuff of legends. His UFC record lightweight winning streak is now 11. And for Anthony Showtime Pettis, his stock rises in defeat here tonight. And here we go. Insane, the big right hand lands. He throws an inside kick and Pettis just hits him with a huge right hand and just puts him down. Then here you see he's cut and he's finally just like, yes, this is what I wanted, Havoc. And he gets it. Ferguson cuts him over his left eye. Elbows grabbing the hands the whole time. Non-stop punches trading. These guys are fighting in a phone booth, bleeding all over each other, bleeding all over us. Reckless abandonment, bodies were put on the shelf and they just didn't care. And Ferguson looking back at Pettis, got you. Got you. You're done. I see you. Bruce Buffer now with that decision. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round two, Anthony Pettis' quarter has called a stop to this fight. 
declaring the winner by TKO, Tony El Kukui Ferguson.